guys to investigating aids. So some things that we're not able to answer. So just please understand that. It's with great sadness that I, that I come before you today. Investigator Cecil Dwayne Ridley was shot and killed last night while conducting specialized operations at the shop mark located at Martin, Lee, Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and 12th Street. I recently directed the establishment of these proactive teams to combat the senseless gun violence that we are experiencing here in Augusta. These proactive teams are comprised of members of the Narcotics Division and the Crime Suppression Team. These teams are designed to conduct aggressive operations targeting areas where firearms, drug activity, and gang activity are most prevalent in our city. Investigator Ridley and other deputies were conducting an investigation in the parking lot of the shop mall. The suspect, identified as 24-year-old Alvin Hester Jr., a convicted felon, left the parking lot against the instruction of deputies and retreated inside the store. Once inside, he was confronted by a deputy. Hester, who was carrying a bag which contained drugs and three handguns, produced one of the handguns and shot Investigator Ridley as he was entering the store as backup. Two other deputies returned fire and wounded Hester, who was taken and remained at the Augusta University Medical Center, Medical Center under guard by our deputies. Investigator Ridley was transported by ambulance to Augusta University Medical Center and was later pronounced deceased at 8.45 p.m. Investigator Ridley has a combined 17 years at Richmond County Sheriff's Office and was assigned to the Narcotic Division for the majority of his career. Investigator Ridley was known widely as reputed as one of our most aggressive and seasoned investigators. Since the implementation of these proactive teams over the last 15 days, there have been a significant reduction in gun violence. These teams have written 64 citations, made 84 drug cases, 45 felony arrests, and seized 52 firearms in 15 days. Investigator Ridley died from a census act of gun violence while trying to eradicate it from the streets of Augusta. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation was called in to handle the incident and all criminal charges would stem from their office. Sergeant Alonzo Bale and Deputy Vernon Johnson, who returned fire, have been placed on administrative leave with pay until the investigation is concluded. Investigator Ridley was an asset to this agency. He and all of our deputies put themselves at great risk each and every day to help get, keep the citizens of Richmond County safe. We grieve for Investigator Ridley and his family, and we know that if the circumstances were different, he would tell us to press on. So accordingly, we want the message to go forward that we're going to continue these operations, and we hope that the court will show no leniency when it comes to these individuals who willfully choose to engage in gun violence in our city. May God bless the Richmond County Sheriff's Office and the city of Augusta. Thank you. We'll take any questions. Oh, how, how would you describe Investigator Ridley to the community and to our viewers and our readers? Um, he was extremely passionate about his job. Um, he was with us um, about 11 years prior to, left uh, for another job. Um, when I came back to office, showed interest in coming back to work for us. We saw his potential, was able to bring him back. He went back into our narcotics division and he has excelled there. He's one of our best narcotics investigators. How do you want Investigator Ridley to be remembered? Um, I want him to, to be a symbol of what we're trying to do in Richmond County. Um, we're trying to eliminate and reduce gun violence in Richmond County. 
at the risk of our lives. And that's what people seem to forget sometimes when they want to criticize them, that what we do is at the risk of our lives. Um, and unfortunately, this cowardly act by this individual is a result of us aggressively going after those individuals. As I said, he was in possession of three handguns and uh, more than one narcotics. Um, his intent was to do harm in Richmond County. Um, so um, how tragic this incident, this individual was a danger to society and hopefully he'll never have an opportunity to hurt anyone again. When you speak of um, you know, risking lives, you know, what message do you give to uh, your deputies who may have concerns, safety concerns now after this incident? A lot of deputies uh, who responded to the hospital last night we were able to meet with them. And they understand this is why we do it. This is just a reminder um, how dangerous it is. But then it's just to know that it's worth it. That for us to do this each and every day, that means our hearts are with the city of Augusta, um, of this community. It just reinforces their passion of why they got into service, why they got into law enforcement. Uh, because they're willing to risk it all, to not to come home to their families for the betterment of the city. And I think that message resonates with them. And that's why they put on the badge. It's not for them. Like I said, I wish um, we could compensate them financially for the work that they do, but that's not their primary uh, uh, motivation. This reminds us of why we do it um, and, and the human part of it and how we are a family um, that's supporting the city of Augusta. What kind of man was he in and outside these offices? Um, to some people, he was extremely close. The members of my command staff are um, grieving hard. Um, it's, it's, it's a tragic loss to them. And like I said, as a professional, um, as an investigator, that's the person you wanted on your case. Um, outside, he, like I said, he had friends who, um, who spoke to the fact that said, um, you know, they, they had genuine love for him. Um, so that says a lot about the person. And I know um, there are various opinions, but there are various opinions about every person in this room and in this city. Um, and people are entitled to them. But all I can tell you is the good of the 17 years in which he did, he did it for someone else and not for himself. Were there any previous interactions with the investigator and the suspect? Um, not this investigator and suspect that we know of. We know that Mr. Hester has um, a criminal history going back to a juvenile. He is a convicted um, felon, um, but I don't see a direct tie um, right now to him or the officers who were involved. And are there any, oh, sorry, are there any surveillance video that you guys have that might be released in the coming days? That would be up to the GBI. The store, in fact, did have um, surveillance uh, equipment. We were able to view that. That's going to aid in the investigation. Um, it supports the account in which we feel is accurate, the one that I just gave you. Um, but again, the GBI, uh, once they turn that over to the district attorney, they'll make the determination when they release that particular video. Has the we GBI give you, given you any update on uh, the process of the investigation? Yeah, they were here all night, and they were waiting for me this morning um, um, in, in, in reference to that. So um, based on their preliminary findings, um, like I said, the account is, um, is pretty much in line with what I just told you. Um, that's why charges, um, I was assured that charges will be um, being filed today. I don't know exactly when they're going to be filed, but being because the person is at the hospital and under guard, um, you will see multiple charges come out today up to include um, homicide. We were told that Investigator Ridley was um, operating a